I'm Dave Kessler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, and I'm here to answer comments to my videos on the Ask Dave YouTube channel. This one comes from Sam Linsicum4904 on what to do with excess cable, and it's video number 656, so several years ago. Hi Dave, I really do enjoy your videos. Before I go any further, let me say I'm not a ham, but rather a GMRS guy. I just got a GMRS radio right here from Redivus that they've asked me to review. And I do have a GMRS license. I just got that. But I'd like to chime in if I may. I'm running two antennas. One is an Omni, the other is a Yagi Directional, both of which I'm running LMR 400. You see from the antennas to my cable box, it's an enclosed box. It's got all the lightning arresters in it. It's just a couple feet or three or four feet above ground. Copper back plate is connected to the ground. And then the wires come down to that and then go into the house. Now the one I have has a hole in the back of it to which you connect a piece of conduit, in my case, three inches. And all the wires, the protected lines come into the house that way. You see, from the antennas, my cable runs to a box that's attached to the house right outside my radio room and presumably connected to ground very securely with a number six wire or better, I use number two stranded insulated. So the LMR 400 runs to the box, connects to the lightning arrestor, and from the lightning arrestor house, I run five, a five foot run of RG58, which is fine. That way I only need to drill very small holes into the house. In my case, it comes in via one large one. I had an electrician put it in uh, just to make sure it got done right. I'm still connected to a lightning arrestor and all the holes are sealed or covered. So what's your opinion on my setup? Sounds good. Sounds like a standard setup. Um, I'm assuming the box is grounded and that is your single point ground plane connected to your ground. Okay. In my personal experience, I've been, I've had a direct hit on my house. I was inside the house at the time. I was sleeping comfortably on the couch, taking a very nice nap. The next thing I knew I was 10 feet in the air and the second coming was here. I mean, it was truly, truly a very striking experience. It uh, melted the antenna, vaporized it. There was nothing left of it. The coax got all blown out and stuff like that. Uh, I had my rig completely disconnected from everything at the time. And I did have my antenna tuner connected. It uh, blew out an IC in there. Fortunately, that was only a dollar to replace. Put a little thing in my antenna tuner, which I was able to uh, file out without a problem. It also destroyed my Hayes smart modem and our garage door opener. So all these different kinds of things that can go on. Still doing. Okay. So until we next meet, 73.